the odds of finding a shiny Pokemon are 1 in 4096 on base. So beating an entire Pokemon game, specifically a very hard one with only shiny Pokemon, is quite difficult. However, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Rules are pretty simple. I'm only allowed to add one new Pokemon to my team for every area I unlock. I'm not allowed to overlevel, and I'm not allowed to use any duplicate shinies of Pokemon I already have. Enjoy. I started my journey off with some of the required battles that you have to do before you're able to obtain any Pokemon with potential shiny odds. After I had done this, I started adventuring around, and two minutes in, this happened. That's not a shiny. No, oh! I'm a, oh. What was that? Was that actually real? No. No way. No shiny. That was yours. Yep. That was me? That wasn't Sorax. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It was not capping! It was not capping! Alright, um, autosave! Oh my god! Alright, autosave! No, Disable! No, Let's go! I can start the run! I can start the run! I can start the run! That is yeah, no- I got you really lucky to start off literally two minutes into the run. And I didn't really say what it was, but it was a shiny Luxio, which I was very happy about. Um, the shiny was level 16, so I wasn't able to train it yet. So I caught some Pokemon, got my first star rank, and wow, this thing actually definitely was a very useful, very useful Pokemon. After this, I made a little bit of progress off camera. I was able to quell Cleavor and Lilligan, and then I started shiny hunting to get a third shiny, and I got myself a shiny Paraz. And I was feeling overly confident and then hunted for a fourth one. There was just one problem though. After this, my luck was not good to say the least. I began struggling outbreak after outbreak. I could not find anything. And this is when I realized one thing. This is going to be really difficult. In fact, this took so long that I was able to evolve my Luxio into Luxray, get it to level 30, and get all my other Pokemon into the mid 30s, I'd say. Plus, Ponita's about to evolve. At this point, I pretty much realized I was out of luck, to say the least. So I took a little bit of a break from shiny hunting and decided I'd take on the whole Lord of the Isles, basically all that stuff, before. After that, I finished all the stuff for the Lord of the Isles, Arcanine thing, whatever. And the bandits were actually quite annoying since they had four Pokemon and I only had three. And also, my team wasn't exactly the best. But I got past. So sometimes you may look at my Pokemon party and notice that it's full of six Pokemon. No, I do not have six shiny Pokemon on my team, but whenever you catch a Pokemon, it immediately goes into your party if there's still room. So, it's kind of just filling up my party. So, if you were to check the other three Pokemon on, on my team, they're, they're actually just Stantlers, and I forgot to take them off before the battle. Just so you know. Those annoying bandits were over with. It was time to battle Lord of the Isles Arcanine, and this was really easy, if I'm being completely honest. It honestly is one of the easier boss battles, as you'll see later, that get kind of annoying. But, just threw a couple bombs, got let its guard down a couple times, and it went down pretty easily. It's my second playthrough. Fortunately, after all that grinding, I was finally able to evolve my Ponyta. I was feeling pretty happy at this point. I had a fairly decent team. I'd taken down three of the five titans. This was going pretty smoothly, and I felt like, cool, I'll be able to actually do this. This might actually be a video. If you're seeing this, it is. But unfortunately, now things get difficult. Yeah, it's going to get hard now. Oh, no. After a little while, the shiny finally showed, and it was actually a shiny Vulpix, and I'm pretty happy about that, despite the fact that I have a fire type. Well, 38 at the time I caught it. Wow, I was pretty happy about that, and I evolved it pretty quickly after getting some merit points. After I got a bunch of merit points, I bought a fire stone and used it on my Vulpix, and this evolution looks really good. this, I had four Pokemon. A shiny Luxray, a shiny Rapidash, shiny Ninetales. Wow, this is really good. I was very happy, and I think I'd be able to do this, uh, except for shiny Paras. Oh, he sucks. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. You're not good. After this, I got a wall-climbing cat, 
and took on Electrode. And this battle is so annoying, I hate it! It sends like these energy balls at you that do a lot of damage and they keep following you forever. But eventually, after a lot of pain and suffering, I was able to kill the big ball. Well, let's go make some progress on our Pokedex so I can unlock the next rank and go to the Alabaster Iceland. After all, I'll find some new Pokemon. Wait, but that's completely off guard. I find myself a shiny Rhydon. Once I was finished with that, I got a Protector and Evolved Rhydon. Shiny Rhyperior is not only really good in battle, but also really cool looking. After that, let me tell you, Rhyperior is one heck of a sweeper. It was easily able to take out all of the Pokemon in the temple, and then Luxray was able to kill the Braviary with a strong style crunch. So this, I decided it was finally time to complete my shiny team, and... <laughs> the time that I caught it, it was level 63, which meant I didn't have to do any leveling to get it in sync with the rest of the team, which was quite a relief. After this, I took on Lord of the Tundra, Avalog, and this was overall pretty easy fight. I gotta admit though, there was one problem that was kind of stopping me from beating this in like two and a half minutes. It was really tanky, it was able to like take hits really easily, but in the end it went down and I didn't really have to retry at all. So that was nice. So I was finished, I took a tiny nap, but oh no, the sky's changing! Then Captain Kamado accused me of changing the color of the sky, which makes complete sense. After talking to Mai and a few other people, I'm told that I should battle the three lake guardians. I'm not entirely sure why, but I absolutely loved battling alpha Pokemon, so this was overall a lot of fun. After the battles with those three alpha Pokemon and doing the trials of the three lake guardians, I was able to obtain the red chain and I was nearing the end of my shiny only run. After this, I defeated Benny and Kamado, and it was time to battle the two lords of space and time, Dialga and Palkia. After getting Dialga into the yellow and paralyzing him, I threw an Ultra Ball, and I was able to catch him on my first Pokeball, which was nice. After all this time, it was finally time for me to battle the almighty origin form Palkia, and after throwing a lot of bombs at it and weakening it to a point where I can catch it, I had finally finished my shiny-only Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. Well, that pretty much concludes my video. We've been able to obtain Shiny Parasect, Shiny Glalie, Shiny Viperior, Shiny Ninetales, Shiny Luxurie, and even Shiny Rapidash. We've been able to complete a full team, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. That being said, bye!